What's going on guys, it's Brody Kern, and today I'm going to be talking to you about how to go from worrier, someone who worries, to warrior, someone who wins and creates in life and in business. Because here's the deal, I see so many young entrepreneurs worrying, worrying about their future, failure, worrying about success, you know, just worrying. And worry does not create wealth. That is a cornerstone of our culture at Wake Up Wealthy. Worry does not create wealth. Write that down. Because you see, all that worrying is, I don't, I don't remember where I heard this quote, I love it. Worrying is like praying for what you don't want. Think about that. I'm about to say it again. Worrying is like praying for what you don't want. Now, let's break down the logic behind this because you might say that doesn't make sense. And guess what? It does. So, <clears throat> whether or not you've like dove into the law of attraction, I really want you to pay attention to what I'm saying. So, the law of attraction would state that like whatever you focus on, whatever future you fuel mentally will become a fact. So in this scenario, what you're actually focusing on by worrying, let's say that you worry about creating financial freedom, right? If you are worrying about what is actually going to happen in the future, you're worrying about the lack of financial freedom, right? That's where your mental energy is being focused. And remember I said, whatever future you fuel becomes a fact. So if you were thinking about not creating the life that you want, that is what the universe, the f***ing space, God, whatever the f*** you call it, right? That's what it's going to give you. You are actually reinforcing the scarcity. So if I say, hey, you know, I really want to be financially free in my future. I want to create this life that I never had, all this shit. But all that I focus on is the life that I never had and all this shit then I'm going to continue to live the life that I never had and totally it. Do you see what I'm saying? Wherever you put your focus, that's what the universe is going to put into your life. So if you're focusing on wealth, abundance, and like that's actually where your mental energy is being spent, how you're talking to yourself, what kind of internal language and dialogue is going on, because until you really break it down and you start to be cognizant of what is going on here, it's easy to think that thinking about like, I want to create wealth in the future because I don't have it now. You would think that that's the same, that that's a positive thing, right? But when you're focusing on, I don't have it now, and that's all you focus on, you're just going to bring more of that scarcity, more of that contrast in. If you want to create change, you have to cut the worry about what is now and what is in the future. And you have to focus on the small actions with a positive belief about how it's going to turn out. You have to visualize what is going to go on. I spend a small, very small portion, 60 seconds of my morning, every morning, visualizing the best possible outcome of that day. And then I spend another 60 seconds visualizing myself where I wanna be in 10 years, like where I am, what kind of people are around me, how much money's in my bank account, how my wife and kid are feeling, looking, living, where we're at, traveling, like the whole deal is vivid with as much specificity as possible. Because if I focus my mental energy there, I know that the universe, the world, God, whoever will provide that to me because that is what I'm focusing on. There is a collective consciousness. You, everything that you want, success, freedom, it's literally just right out there for you to grab. It's like so close, but instead you've got this, this other arm holding you back from like reaching it. And what that is, is that is you focusing on what you don't have. That is the scarcity, the worry with, if you drop that, you will be able to move forward instantly. Worry does not create wealth. Worrying is like praying for the things that you don't want. Write those two things down, take them from this video. If this resonates with you, I want you to subscribe to the channel because this is the kind of shit put out every single day that can help you in your life and in your business. I will